All right, so we are going to <clears throat> make our teeth. Uh, I just go here on the poly modeling uh, menu here, and I'll click here for a cube. And then here in my channel box here in the top right, and click where it says inputs, polycube one. And where I have my subdivisions width, I can put that on, let's put that on what? Say three or four, put it on four. Um, and that should be good. My width, I'll also put it on four. Nope, sorry. Width four. There we go. And let's see, I want to <clears throat> bend this around. I'm going to right click and go to face mode. Right click and go to face mode. Grab this face on the end. Uh, with the modeling toolkit, I will turn on a uh, soft selection. Modeling toolkit is here on the right. If you don't see it, it should be here, this hammer next to a cube. I'll turn on expand soft select. And I'll turn on soft select. Uh, here I have it set at five, and that seems pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll put it on four. Okay, now let's put it back on five. Okay, and I'm going to click W. Uh, excuse me, E. I'm going to rotate around here. I'm going to rotate till this is uh, going at a ninety degree angle from where it started, and move back okay um remember that alt is my way of, of getting around the um uh my area i'll go into my edge mode here i selected it here or i can right click and go to edge uh, I'm going to turn off soft selection and I'm going to double click and move this here and move this one here. Okay, I think that's good. That's got me mostly in the place I want to be. I can click here to object mode and uh, bring it right over here to about the center. Let's see, I'll go back into face mode. And I can click rotate here. Uh, that was E, right? So that it's nice and straight. Uh, I'm going to click delete for this face on the middle here. This is the middle. I'm going to go ahead and click uh, object mode. And I'm going to click mesh mirror. And I'm going to click this box for the settings. This is on X. And my mirror direction is negative, so that'll good, be good. It'll go on the um, opposite side. Combine with original is checked and merge border vertices is on here. That's good. We will click mirror. Let's see what this does. Okay, so it did it and mirrored it. If I go into my vertex mode and I select a vertex, you can see these are properly merged. That's good. That's what we want. Okay, go back into object mode. And let's see. I'll select my face mode. And I'll select this face and this face. I'll move these back a little bit, I think. Okay. So that's good. Back into object mode. Let's go to file. Save seen as. I'm going to call this teeth. Actually, it's already named teeth. Save as. Yes. Okay. Um, now I'm going to click here for another cube. And this cube, I will move over here and I'll click R. And we're going to scale it so it's not as wide. And I can also click here for, say, face mode and scale that so it's not as wide as well and click w and oops click object mode and i'm just going to go ahead and put this up here there we go Bring it 
towards the front. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click duplicate. Oops. What happened? Click in here. I click Control D. Excuse me. For duplicate. E to rotate. W to move. Move this in here. And we're just setting up a basic modeling. We're not... Okay, control D again. Uh, we're not going to add any more detail. We're just simply going to make the number of teeth here. All right, uh, we'll do another control D. I know that's a canine. I could probably make that in the basic shape of it but I don't really want to this is the first premolar because we'll end up modeling this more in um, in ZBrush okay we'll make another premolar molar and then control D one more we could put wisdom teeth in there too let's see I want to make a face here and face here move them in I don't need them as long I can make another wisdom tooth in there if you want. Uh, I can even, here, back to object mode and channel box here on the right. I'll call this, um, what, incisor one. Incisor two. Canine. So I'm just double clicking here on the top and giving them a new name. Premolar one, premolar two, molar one, molar two. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, I'm going to click and drag here. I'll do a, a control S to save. I'll click and drag over all of these. And then I will go to uh, Mesh, Mirror, and then Settings. I do not want to combine with Original, um, so I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to click Mirror. That did not turn out so well. Let's try this again. So I did a Control-Z to undo that. Mirror. I click Apply. I think I crashed Maya.
So we'll start it back up here again in a minute. Okay, so let's try this again. So I'm gonna click all of these. And if I click, hmm, let's try this. We'll click, uh, I know I can get this to work. Mirror, and I don't wanna combine. And so, I turn off cut geometry and my geometry type will be copy so I can click mirror there we go got that to work great so I'm going to go ahead and click and drag over all of this and I'm going to go to modify uh, center pivot Modify, freeze for transformations, and then edit, delete by type, history. If you didn't get that, that was modify, center pivot, modify, freeze transformations, and then edit, delete by type, history. Okay, so there we have that. Um, let's see, so I have. So some of these, like these in particular, um, here, let's make these not as small, a little smaller. Um, and I can do that here in the attribute, let's see, modeling toolkit. And if I shrink them, yeah, they'll shrink on their own. Good, because where our scale settings are an object here. Oops. Okay. All right. So I've done that. Um, I've added them in here. I'll go ahead and go to modify, uh, freeze transformations and edit, delete by type history again after I've moved them so that they're all zeroed out. Uh, by this point, let's see, I'll select uh, the main one here too, and I will call this as a PQ. I'll call it gum. Okay. So that's very good. All the rest of these have other names. And these are like on fours, but that's okay. We don't care. All right. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag here to select all of them. And then I am going to go to File. Export selection. Uh, I will files of type, I will export out as an. OBJ. OBJ. There we go. We will call these teeth. Export selection. Hey.
And then I'm going to go ahead and open up Maya. I'll let Maya open up. <clears throat> go to load tool. Oh, excuse me. So load tool, we will go into import. We will find it. Teeth.obj, open. We'll go ahead and click and drag. Um, let's see, I'm going to click edit immediately after. And I'll turn off this light box. I want to change my material. I'll click here for material and I'll go down to basic material. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see, I have my subtools here. They're all joined into one. That'll work for now. Uh, I'll go ahead and click geometry. I'll expand geometry and I'll click divide a couple times. Okay. This turns them into kind of a peas in a pod kind of thing. I am okay with that for now. I'm going to go ahead and take my brush and put this on move. Uh, M for move topological. There it is there. I'll click X. And I'm going to go ahead and move these around. I can see here where, oh, there we have that. And some of these, like my incisors, are a little off. I don't think they're totally symmetrical. But they'll get that way. Probably because I moved them around a little separately. So all of these are um, pulled in together. We can separate them into pieces. But right now, we can see where, like, okay, here I can select this. I can select the gum, pull down, pull down here. Building up my canines. All right. Let's see. Making my molars wider, bigger. And you can also, like, for the molars, I mean, here's a brush. We did move topological, but we can also do I for inflate. That'll blow them up. This back to move topological.
All right. Um, let's switch here. I'll switch to my D for DAM standard brush. And I'm going to make a split going here right up the middle. And going this way as well. If it goes that way. Split here right up the middle and split right here. Another one here. Another one here. All right. Let's do move again. And so from this point, um, this looks pretty good. Um, I can go to geometry. This is already set to subdivision level three. I can go to where it says Z remesher. I can click, uh, let's just click same and then click Z remesher. And we'll see these take shape more in the shape of what we're, we are, uh, how we're sculpting it. And as I pull down here, The gums. All right, and I click Z remesher again. Oh, look at that. That adds something to it. It's just a little bit more easier to um, sculpt. All right, and I'll go ahead and click uh, standard again. All right. What I start to do is uh, we can color this. We can make a duplicate and make a lower teeth. Um, so let's start with coloring. First thing we need to do is is take this and make it uh, uh, have a UV map um so i can go into z plugin uv master i can click unwrap now it's created uvs if you want to see them you can go to z plugin and click flatten there we go we see the gum we see each one of the teeth already automatically uv mapped go to z plugin and again we'll go to unflatten so they become normal there now from this point, we can color them. Go to uh, poly paint, click colorize. We go up to color. We're going to fill them with this white color. That's fine. Fill object. And then from this point, I want to click RGB, turn off Z add. 
And I'm going to put my gum color set to a pink. I'm going to go ahead and color them. If, you know, if you're wanting this to be like easier, you can always go like you want the T separate. We can always go like this, sub tool, split, split to similar parts. So this is not undoable. We'll go ahead and do it. Click OK. And now we have the gums. The gums are on their own, separate. So I can go ahead even and just go to simply color, fill object. There we go. There's that pink color fill object. Okay, and then I can go to a darker color and I can paint it. I'm going to add some variety to it. Okay, I can paint each of the teeth, I can add something to them, or I can just simply just go from here and say, merge, merge down. So this is not undoable. I'm gonna click always okay, because I don't need to be told this. Merge down, merge down, merge around, merge down, merge down, merge down, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and click duplicate on my duplicate. I am going to, let's see if I go down here to uh, duplicate selected. Yes, it is. I'll click geometry. I think with position, uh, I can change it down to the Y position. And what about rotate? Ah, if I'm in deformation is that going to give me an option to rotate yes and i will click here for rotate i will click z rotate 180 uh, no i don't want to go from there 180 here rotate 180. There we go. Very good. It was just all the way down. Easy enough. Geometry position. There we go. You know, I could have used the move tool to do this as well. Z position. We're going to move it back a little bit. Remember that there's an overbite a little bit. And from this point, we are sub tool and using this we'll call this here, we'll rename it we'll call this lower teeth enter this one on top we'll rename call upper teeth and we want to remember that with our lower teeth there are several things let's go to move um these tend to be smaller um there tends to be kind of an overlapping thing that happens with uh like an interlock between the upper teeth and the lower teeth so that they have a good bite okay And let's go ahead and make our draw size much bigger. I'll just bring all of this much closer.
big. Okay, I'm going to adjust from there and make it more realistic. Remember in ZBrush, we're clicking on the background to rotate around Alt. We'll pan Alt and holding it while clicking and dragging and letting go of Alt. We'll make it zoom in and out. You can also do plus or minus. We'll also zoom in and out. And switch to upper teeth and I'm doing adjustments here I mean I kind of left them both in a place where they're generic to where I could do adjustments to both after I've copied them there we go all right <clears throat> these could always use more work I'm going through this quickly to give you a, a, a demo from this point uh we are wanting to uh export both so we can go up to where it says the plugin uh we have subtool master i think we can do a uh, save z tool we call these teeth save if i go up here again z plugin um i think i get an export and i can export both so please select export options clear masking show hidden polities um we will export out both we'll click um as obj we'll click ok Eh, well, at least I saved it. ZBrush crashed, so I'm waiting for it to uh, save and then reopen. Okay, so hmm, apparently this is still. Okay, so here uh, it had said that uh, it was terminated in an abnormal way. And you see where it says open file here, or a quick save is actually the menu that's activated here. We see all of these previous. Um, items that have been saved during quick save and here we have the recovered i think this would be it Maybe it's this three two two five. There we go. 
Okay, so here we have it. Um, I'm going to, instead of trying to do them all at once, I'm just going to go to, I uh, have subtool, the first one is selected here, and I will click export. Um, so here I will have upper teeth, save. And then I will select the second one and export. This is lower teeth. Save. Okay. The first one selected, I can go to Z plugin, multi map exporter. I don't need displacement. I'm just getting this texture from PolyPaint. And I can go ahead and click create all maps. I'm going to save it here. And this will be teeth. This is upper teeth. Save. says all maps created and exported. Let's take a look. Okay, so I looked here and I don't quite see it. I don't know, it didn't show up. So I'm gonna do this again. Z plugin, texture from polypaint and the multi-map exporter, create all maps. And then teeth. And then I will call this upper teeth. Backspace. And then upper teeth. Under, uh, TM. Click save. All maps created and exported. Let's double check that. I'm not seeing it. So what the heck. I have texture map here. I can expand and click create and I have nothing here. Why do I have nothing here? I've created a map Z plugin UV master unwrap. All right. Let's select the other one. Lower teeth. Z plugin, unwrap for UV map. Okay. Now, if I expand, and I did this before, as far as I know. Now, if I expand texture map and go to create, I can see this new from PolyPaint. So I don't know what happened. Maybe I've opened up one that was done before the UV mapping. Maybe we lost the UV map somehow when it crashed. I don't know. We'll go to Z plugin, multi map exporter. We've already painted it after, and we've made the UV map. We can still do that after we have we have done it. So now I'm going to click Create All Maps. When it doesn't show up when you've exported it like that, it's typically because there's no UV map. And I swore I made one, but I don't know what happened. Art 25 teeth. It's going to have both of them. What's it going to be? Upper teeth, TM, lower teeth. Which one did I have selected? That was the lower teeth. So I'll select the first one and I will click. That was the second one that was selected. So now I selected the first one and create all maps. I will call this. Our teeth, TM, save that, 
So is it saved it? So this is lower teeth. This is recovered, seems to be upper teeth. Okay. Similar UV maps. Uh, similar laid out. We've exported the OBJs. Now we can go into Maya. I have these here, but I'm going to go ahead and click delete. I don't need them anymore. I'm going to click import, file import. Expand this. File import. Teeth, lower teeth, control upper teeth, your lower teeth, import, there we go, file, import, upper teeth, import. I'll click here for my hypershade. AI standard. All right. So I clicked one AI standard surface. I will call this upper teeth mat. So I did that right up here in this area after I selected it. Enter. So there we go. I'm going to here move this and go right over here. I used alt. My middle mouse button to pan off, and I'll click AI standard surface again. So now I have one here. This is lower teeth mat. Upper teeth I have selected. I'll go ahead and click color here in base. I get to this create render node. I will click file this is for upper This is upper teeth recovered. We'll click that. That's upper teeth material. Here's lower teeth material. I'll click again color and then file. Click here for browse. And this is the upper lower teeth that it created. Okay, so let's move this. And then here for upper, I'll go ahead and select that. I'll middle mouse button, click it and drag. Here that's added to, hmm, I'm gonna click all of these, it looks like they've been disconnected. And I'm going to right click here on the upper material and click assign material to viewport selection. I'm going to click and drag over the lower teeth and go over to the lower teeth material and right click and go to assign material to viewport selection. Now, from this point, I might as well close out the hypershade, just get out of the way. Go to Arnold, I will go to lights, Skydome light. I will go to Renderer, put this on Arnold, and I'll click this right here for this window right here. I click play. Why am I getting, hmm.
Let's see if I select all these. I go to um, UV UV editor. Oh, you know why? Because again, for some reason, these are not correct. Uh, I'm going to select all of the teeth and I go to delete. So ZBrush here, I have the recovered tool, the first one, upper teeth. I will click now export. This is going to be upper teeth.obj, save. If I want to replace it, yes, I do. Lower teeth, select that, export. Lower teeth, save. Do I want to replace it? Yes, I do. Okay, here we are back in Maya. There was that problem with the UV map. I think it's because of when we recovered it, must have recovered before we UV mapped it. So I'm going to go to import upper teeth OBJ. There we go. Yeah, let me undo real quick or I'll delete. Delete. Okay, what do I have here? I got a bunch of this extra stuff here in the outliner. I don't need a bunch of extra things. So I go to File. I've deleted them. File, Import. Here we are. Upper Teeth, .obj. There we go. Go to File, Import. Lower Teeth, .obj, Import. I will select the upper teeth, click and drag. Here, I just want the upper teeth. I will open up Hypershade again. The upper teeth material, I will right click and go to assign material to viewport selection. There we go. We can see them laid out. See them with the texture we've created. I can click and drag on the lower teeth. And then I can go to right click on lower teeth material, assign material to viewport selection. There they are. Okay, very good. Now we can take, say, click and drag on the, let's see, I want to I want to select the gum. Okay, so that's this one. I will call it gum, upper gum. And then all of the rest of these, we'll hold shift and I'll click and drag over all of them. There we go. These, I will use my, I see them selected here in my outliner and I'll use my middle mouse button and just click and drag them to the upper gum. Now they are parented to the upper gum. The lower one I will select. This is lower gum. I will hold shift and I will click and drag over all the rest of these. And then I will middle mouse button, click and drag them to the lower gum and they become parented to the lower gum. There we go. Um, here we are in teeth. We already got it called that. We can see we've got our light on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a control S to save. And there we have our teeth saved.